everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. Another episode here. We're doing doing five minute segments. That's why it's called five minutes. And um, so thanks for watching. We've been talking about apostles and prophets. We did evangelists as well. Now today we're going to talk about pastors and teachers. We're going to kind of put them together because they do uh, go together. The pastoral and teacher gift really do go together. However, um, I will say that you can have people who are teachers that are not pastoral, that's not their gift, and you can have pastoral people who are very good with people and not so good at teaching. Or what I mean is it's not really the gift they have. Um, so, so just know that, like they can be also separate as well. But let's put them together because they really do most of the time um, go together. So pastors, right, pastors are safe places for the believer. These are people who um, are humble folks who just really love people. So people with the pastoral gift, it's very easy to open up to them. It's very easy to talk to them, and they really invite you in. They just bring you in. They're people who want to have nice, uh, personal, close relationships with you to see you um, step into everything that God's called for you to do. Um, they naturally open the hearts of people. If you have a pastoral gift, people will naturally come to you, and you will learn more about a person in just a few minutes than somebody without a pastoral gift because it opens up people's hearts to you and to them as well. Um, pastor, pastors are people who will bear others' burdens with them. They bear the burdens of the people and they see it through. A pastor will walk with you through a something difficult. And pastors care for God's people and have no problem walking with them, even when it's a slow process. Because honestly, discipleship is a slow process. It's something that takes years with people. It takes years with all of us. It takes years with us walking with Jesus, and it just takes a, a while. So pastors are willing, ready, and able to walk with people through a long journey. Uh, pastors are not pushy. Um, they're not rushed or uneasy, striving, critical, or impatient. Pastors, they, they don't exhibit any of these things. They're very, very great people to walk with. Pastors love people and are drawn to them, and the saints are able to confide in pastors and get wise counsel in every area of their life. And because of this, um, pastors, usually you find them teaching people. Um, so pastors love, love, love. That's what they do. They just love people and they love to be with people. Um, uh, though the pastoral gifts and teaching gift go together, like I said, they're not always that way. You will find people with a teaching gift, very great teachers, that they're just pastoring is not what they want to do. They, they don't they just don't have the patience for it, which is fine. They have a gift for something else besides teaching as well. And so you'll find this, teachers that can teach great, uh, but they're not going to walk with you through something long and arduous. It's just not going to happen, and that's just because it's not their gift, and they shouldn't do that. You need a person with a pastoral gift to help you walk through that. Um, that pastoral gift is immensely encouraging to people. Um, it's, a, it's a vital gift in the church, and teachers are those who are able to unpack the scriptures. They can unpack. Bible verses, they can unpack sections, books, um, entire swaths of biblical knowledge. They can unpack it in a way that is anointed, that breaks bonds off of people. Teaching should not be boring. It shouldn't be monotone. It shouldn't be something that you're just looking at your watch. An anointed teacher is not this way. Anointed teaching literally sets the hearer free as they are there in the presence of that person with the teaching gift. Um, and it's fun and it's exciting. So Teachers who are led by the Holy Spirit, they understand this, that the teaching of the word releases and sets people free. Another thing that people or teachers led by the Spirit of God understand as well is that um, they love prophets. They do. Often you'll find prophets and teachers conflicting, um, but that isn't the case when everybody's being led by the Spirit of God and doing what they're supposed to be doing under the anointing. Teachers understand that when prophets prophesy, sometimes it's going to be out in front of where their teaching currently is. And so they, they say, okay, um, rather than rush to judgment and be critical, what I'm going to do is wait for the Holy Spirit to reveal to me what is the teaching behind what this prophetic person is saying, especially if a prophet's out in front and leading in that kind of thing. So um, a critical spirit or a person with a critical spirit or a teacher with a critical spirit will always rush to judgment on the prophetic. They will rush to disprove it. They will rush to find fault. They rush to find fault with every teacher, preacher, evangelist. They're always rushing to that. And that is a teacher critical spirit that just needs to be surrendered to the Lord so God can take that and begin to move it forward. So um, the Holy Spirit will always show us the truth in the prophetic by using the word of God. 
So just remember that. Pastors and teachers, they go together. The Bible will always back up the prophets. If a prophet is wrong or out of order, the, the Word of God will easily disprove it and show it openly right in front of everybody. It won't even be a mystery, so you don't have to worry about that either. So pastors and teachers go together. We love them. So if that's your call, man, start diving into the Word of God and see where you can fit in and begin to teach others around you, even if it's in a small group. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.